I don't know about you, but I'm on vacation mode already right here. I'm done with the winter. I need to go somewhere warm and tropical. That's how I associate vacation. So I'm here to prepare y'all who's on my same mental. No more lock doors. No, Leroy, I'm bilingual. There's a difference. No more lock doors. Gracias. I got 10 fresh, sexy vacation fragrances you need to pack in your suitcase. Let's roll my motherfucking music, get your passport ready, bring that mankini, and let's go. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I'm on summer, summer, summer time. I need vacation. I need to see a palm tree. There needs to be a little bit of grass on the floor that is like flourishing. I need to feel burning sun rays to turn my vitamin D deficient skin into a nice red lobster color, then slowly marinate itself into a tan. So I have selected 10 awesome vacation style fragrances that have some versatility, has some playfulness, have a little bit of uniqueness, and will separate you from the rest of the boys. First fragrance is an extreme powerhouse. I love this fragrance. It took me a very long time to obtain because I'm very tight in the pocket sometimes, and when I find something at a good deal, I have to pull the trigger. I've been wearing clones of this for years, and I finally had the opportunity to wear the original, and that's Zhirzhov's Neo. If the new Matrix sucks, this one doesn't. Neo still lives like the original Matrix. Incredible, fresh, citrusy, bright, vetivery, inviting, invigorating, slightly fizzy. It's incredible in the hot weather, and it's hard for fragrances to be this good, fresh, and invigorating, and have some sort of balls in the hot weather. It's very difficult. You could wear this shit in the middle of the desert and you'll still get a little bit of performance out of it, even when you're dry fucking a camel. It's gonna work spectacular. This is one of these fragrances that gets you compliments. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's sexy, it's tart, it's delicious, it's just summer in a bottle. Delicious, expensive, but worth every penny, I think. Next one. This next one is beachweather.com. Incredible, unique. It has a sparkly ginger. It has this white musk and coconutish vibe around it. It has a creamy essence and screams dry fuck me on sand. This is Monegal's Ibiza, AKA La Isla Blanca. This there's very few fragrances that scream, oh my God, I'm at the beach. This is what the name represents, Ibiza. I am walking barefoot on a beach with a white Speedo after dipping in the water, spraying this all over me. I might have accidentally taken one or three ecstasy pills thinking they were Smarties and sprayed this all over my body because I feel like Fabio. In my brain, I would have a luscious golden tan with baby oil all over me, a possible six pack with that V dick cut and have the physique of a Greek god, but that's all mental. In true story, I look like a melted candle from Beauty and the Beast, but that's fine. You can still feel and smell delicious wearing this fragrance. Unique vibes all over. Aldehydic, gingery, white florals. Again, it has like this coconut rind smell about it. Musky, there's vetiver nuances here. There's white florals. It's bright, yet has depth. It's powerful, yet not clawing. It's sexy, but not annoying. And then when it officially dries down on the skin, it has this again, creamy nuttiness about it that just separates you from everyone else. This is a walking vacation in a bottle. Throw it in your carry-on, cause once you put it under TSA, motherfuckers will steal it with your loafers. Not that it's happened to me before three times, but it has. Next one. Sometimes you don't wanna be complicated and you don't wanna start thinking and having these mathematical equations in your head like, is this gonna be good? Is that a good choice? Is this gonna be a little bit too obnoxious? Sometimes you want a simple, dumb reach and nothing's better than YSL Eau Fraiche. Vacation vibes. Fresh, bright, tart, ginger, spice, peppery, very fun, 
very playful. One of these fragrances that's very versatile when it comes to age, particularly if you're of the younger demographic. If you're 25 and under, this is an absolute playful chill by the beach bar, sand dune, jump off a boat, try to get a shorty's number. Even if she's wearing a mask in the middle of the ocean, then you gotta question your life decisions. But either way, this is a very easy, dumb reach that performs very well in the high heat, surprisingly. Usually these are kinda like, mm, I don't know how it's gonna go, but this is just one that really works and it just exemplifies what warm weather, sexy, fun vibes is going to be. This is just fun. Some of us are fortunate enough to not be married, have any children, not committed, don't have to wear an angle brace. They can go out on the beach, get absolutely plastered, wake up the next day, quit your job, and do it all over again. It's amazing, and I want to live vicariously through you. This fragrance is that. Next one. In keeping with that playful vibe, this fragrance is easily described as a lemon icy from a Mr. Softy ice cream truck. The little icies that you scrape with the wooden stick, Dior Homme Cologne, is just that. There's no other way to describe this fragrance. No need. This is all hot weather all the time. Another one that performs very well off of my skin in the summer, which is unusual because my skin sucks, sops everything up. It just retains moisture like crazy. That's why I'm always wet. This again, the easiest way to explain it is a lemon icy, a little lemon Italian icy in spray form. Easiest way to describe this is a little lemon Italian icy. Somebody's gonna scrape you and lick you off a wooden spoon. Next one. Next one is a classic staple in a lot of people's collections for a particular reason, cause it works. We're talking about that Chanel Allure et de Chambonche. This is another ice cream. This is that lemon icy with the vanilla inside, that, that uh, creamsicle kind of, like that lemon creamsicle. This is what you get out of it. It's musky, it's vetiver, it's bright, it's sexy. It's really good in the summer. It just gives you that sex appeal that Chanel Allure fragrances have. Now for me, it's not all of them that give you a sex appeal, that Chanel Allure line, but this one would have to be up there with one of my like top two favorites from that line. This is a summer staple piece with jeans and a t-shirt, or if you're doing some board short chilling, you know what I'm saying, you got a nice chest that you like to show off, not huge tits like I do, then this is a very sexy boardwalk fragrance that you can chill in the summertime. Let's go on vacation quick. Next one. I said it once and I said it again, one of the best summertime mint fragrances in the planet Earth. Love this one by Etat Libre Dior Range, and that's you or someone like you. This small size is all you need. A little bit goes a long way, and I think this was like $30, but one of the most photorealistic, sparkling mints that you can smell. This is like a minty club soda or some shit. It's incredible. I love the freshness that it adds. It has a little bit of a vetiver base, adding some depth and some body, attracting that to your pH levels. It, it's incredible. So refreshing when it's so hot and humid. If you have something on your skin like this with that minty freshness, I feel like it adds a little bit of relief in a certain way. Like that mintiness just adds that freshness like, oh, it's so muggy or whatever, but you got that, that little minty nuance that smells so fucking good that it feels like you're adding a little bit of cool breeze somehow to your nasal cavities, adding a sex appeal, delicious vibes, making you a walking cock. Tail. Next one. This is a fun fragrance that I have neglected. I really need to give this a little bit more burn because it's quite good. I feel like it's in the space of like Yves Saint Laurent loam gingery vibe. Very playful, affordable, very sexy, and really handcrafted. I think it's delicious and that's Ovation for Men. This is really fun. In the hot weather, very bright, very playful, very sexy. It's fresh, it's tobacco, it's manly, it's sexy, dress up, dress down, very versatile, not too expensive, and performs very well in the summertime. For me, this is one that I need to put in the front of the shelf. Next one. This one is one of the most incredibly performing, freshy fragrances that I've ever smelled. It's a beast in the hot weather. And this is Revior Obsidian. I can never pronounce these shits right, but what I can tell you is that this musky sweet pineapple with Neroli-esque vibes, which are a little like, ugh. But this fragrance smells amazing and performs like 10 hours off of my skin in hot weather. 
this is one of these fragrances that you're like, you see blue, you automatically think, oh, it's gonna be a basic aquatic salty fragrance, mad boring and bullshit. It's completely not what you think at all. As a matter of fact, sometimes I don't even understand the blue hue of this bottle. There's nothing aquatic freshy about it. It's musky, it's dense, it's thick, it's sweet, but it has notes of patchouli, it's got cedar, it's got sandalwood. There's a lot of bass heavy notes here, but still manages to keep an incredible freshness that's super sexy and perfect for the summer. Next one. Now for my knee snobs, there's some people here that wanna stray away from everything else and really keep themselves exclusive and a little bit daring. This is a daring warm weather fragrance based on the notes, and I'm gonna give you an old breakdown of this, but it's a power animal for knee snobs who are looking for that artistry component in fragrance. And the fragrance is by Renier Parfums, and that's Guanao. Shout out to my Boricuas, let me hit you with the notes of this shit. Bergamot, lemon, pedigree, lily of the valley, passion fruit, jasmine, rose, sea notes, seaweed, and broxen and leather. Very thick on the leather, which for a fragrance that has these bright components and this freshness is unusual. I didn't know how the leather was gonna be off of my skin, and it is challenging for about, I wanna say three to five minutes. That leather really holds onto the skin very densely, but the petty green and the bergamot really keep some liveliness on top, and the ambroxan and leather and rosy notes stay at the bottom. There's a lot of freshness, but a lot of depth here. This is one that easily transitions mid-afternoon to evening with exclusivity and difference is what you're looking for in a fragrance. You don't wanna smell like everybody else next to you. You wanna stand out and have a conversational piece that you're wearing that's like, what are you wearing? Doesn't necessarily mean that this is some panty dropping marvel, because I'm not gonna he I'm not gonna sit here and say that. I can pretty much guarantee that you've never smelled anything else like this in the summertime vibes off of your skin, guaranteed. Very intriguing, makes me think a lot and really want to pop this on in the summer when I wanna be around elites and people to really impress. Next one. Last and certainly not least, this one was a great surprise when I got it. Not many people were rocking with it. They felt some type of way for some reason. For me, I think it's a stellar piece and that's Creed's Arolfa. This is a quintessential t-shirt and shorts fragrance for me. Yes, it's bougie, yes, it's slightly expensive. You can find it cheap on the gray market, under 200 bucks possibly, shop it around. It's always a way I got a tester, this shit is missing the ring. I mean, I don't give a fuck about the presentation. It's gonna sit on my shelf. It's all about the freshness and sexiness that this has. Sometimes it smells a little older and more gentlemanly off of my skin, but you can't negate the fact that this is super fun, lively, fresh, sexy, and very, very, very good in the summertime. This is an amazing fragrance in the summer, vacation vibes only. Take this with you. And I'm, and I'm jumping ahead saying summer because I associate warm weather, heat with vacation. This is all about vacation. This is stepping away from the fucking cold and going somewhere where there's some heat. I don't have to wear 17 layers and a pair of long johns with my balls in my belly button because I can't find them. Get your bags packed. Make sure you are properly manscaped. Throw one of these, two of these, or four of these in your bag and get ready to go on vacation. Escape from the wife, get the hall pass. Trust me, we all need it. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>